Hi, hello. How are you? Let's do this, shall we? I'm really, really, really excited about continuing this because we have so much to learn about the Angara. And from them, hopefully. Oh. Look at them giving us some pointers in the loading screen. I appreciate that. Man, I think we left off just standing out there on the deck. On the landing pad. Oh, no, actually, we are in our cabin, aren't we? On the, on the Tempest. Not specifically in our cabin. Yeah, we are just prepped and ready to go. All right. So, because the vote was for Vold, let's get into it. All right. Anomaly on sensors. Oh, Havarla is for the scientists. My problem solving was misleading. Okay, so I don't see either of them here. Where do we go? <gasps> there we go. Oh, meet the resistance. Okay, maybe, maybe I was on the money with the with my estimation being that the community discord knew me best. I read resistance and I was like, oh, if uh, mm, y'all guys, y'all know I have a thing for revolutionaries. Wait. Are there Angara we can romance? I didn't even consider this until literally this moment. Not that I'm necessarily interested. I just want to know if it's an option. All right. Anomaly detected. Oh, so let's scan. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Nice. We'll go ahead and get the scanning out of the way. And then we will go ahead and dive right into Vold. Whew. I still feel like I need to shy away from these asteroids. Look at that boy. It's hard. I can't look at these anymore because we've been watching, um, we've been watching the Expanse, the Patreons and I, and I just see Eros. That's all I see when I look at this, is Eros. All right, this asteroid is honeycombed with artificial caverns. A few fragments of remnant technology remain, though it appears another party, perhaps the cat, removed the rest. Got us some copper. All right. head on over to our first planet and then we'll just make our way around. I don't know how you would fly through all those debris. This is a chonky boy. With the shiny. Detected. Ooh. Please tell me it's the shiny. <laughs> Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Does it say SOS on it? I can't quite. I mean, I think so. This empty. Oh, it's Angaran escape pod appears to have been drifting over past 55 for nearly a decade. Markings suggest it came from an exploratory vessel. Its data is now yours to carry forward. Wow. Poor thing. Wow, the smoke effects are very, very good. All right. So I guess we don't need to scan that then. I'm gonna do it just in case. So it counts. 
All right, about the planet. Hydrogen and methane comprise the bulk of Past 55's atmosphere. Innumerable tiny satellites drift low in the gas giant's orbit to disperse to form a proper ring. Oh, poor little guy. All right. One more before we get to Vault. They just really outdid themselves with how beautiful this game is. I know it got a lot of flack, but it looks so good. I bet you got something. The solar flare. It just looks really nice. All right, more anomalies. Ooh, in the center of that thing. <gasps> I love, I love that it's pairing visible anomalies on the surface to where we need to put the probe. Deploying probe, getting a scan. So cool, a storm. This massive hurricane is carrying a sort of nitrogen-adapted plankton over the ocean. Detivios appears to be home to simple life forms. That's cool. Okay, we can't really move around that at all. Okay, so it does count as being scanned. So, Detivios is largely covered in oceans of nitrogen churned by powerful winds. The storms make detailed surface scans difficult, though. All right. Very cool. And here we go. Man, you can still see that big storm over there. All right. Bold. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. <laughs> I don't blame you, Kahlo. Ah. Oh. So we got to pick our landing zone. Wow. I love how it shows us viability level. Wait, 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 wait. We're pathfinding this one? I thought this was like a one-off quest. No, apparently we get to be here and do things. I wonder if we can help make worlds habitable for the Angara. That would be cool. All right. Vold is a world going through an ice age. Once packed with dozens of major... Wait, what? Once packed with dozens of major urban centers, most of Vold's Angaran population now lives in scattered settlements. They're trying to live through this? The remains of vast ancient cities are still entombed in ice. Vold is a stronghold of the cat, caution advised. Yes, I appreciate that. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so one of the coolest things for me is being able to explore post-apocalyptic ruins. I think that shit is so cool. Horizon Zero Dawn? Oh yes. Especially if they're a little overgrown. I love that shit. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping we'll be able to do a little bit of that here. Fingers crossed. Yes, please. Let's get to helping these people. All right. Oh, look at my sweet, sweet Omniblade. I finally got mine in not too long ago. It looks so good. All right. Um, let's pick our team. Fetch and Drek. I'm happy with that. I'm not super concerned with any of this. We don't really have much yet. Um, oh, excuse me, we can customize the Nomad? I didn't even know. Tachanka Grit. Aww. Oh! Nice. Oh, look! Migrant 
spirit. It looks like Tally's... It looks like the pattern of Tally's fabric that she has on her armor. A labyrinthine pattern honoring those who fearlessly wander the stars. Okay, I didn't read this one. Low maintenance, high panache. That's fine. Tabula rasa. The essence of simplicity. Okay. And then to chunk grit. <laughs> a paint job tough enough to weather a nuclear winter. I mean, I think we have to, because isn't that partially what we're doing right now? It's an ice age, which is close enough to a nuclear winter, right? So that's what we'll do for today. We will definitely do Migrant Spirit next, because I miss Tally. Take her down, Kalo. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Oh. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angari, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Well, I was wondering if you were going to use life support on other planets, and yes, yes we are. This one's so incredibly cold we need it. All right, well, it is draining, so let's get out there. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Hazard level two? Do I have to establish an outpost before I have the nomad? Man, I'm going down quick. Shit, shit. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if I can't get somewhere safe. Good place for a secret hideout. The snow and ice camouflages everything. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. Great. They really mean business, don't they? If we have to go get the car, we have to go get the car. It doesn't look like we need the car. Because this is very uh, on foot. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Any squishies need to warm up. Almost at the base now. Here Make we go. sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. Will do. Um, Drac, honey, are you gonna come in from the cold? <laughs> nah, he he's got this. You're gonna make me jump over this. I, oh. You got up here fast. That's literally the precipice I wanted to jump from. I'm reading a severe temperature Ugh. drop. I hate jumping, it makes me very nervous. There we go. Hi. Oh, shit. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. I understand. Life support at 100%. Well, uh, love that. I'm so sorry. Could y'all repeat that? Oof. Wow. All 
All right, let's try to go figure out how we can help. Took two hours to scrape the ice off my ship. Now I turn around, it's already coming back. Let it be. Take off isn't for a while. Okay, so we have to talk to... Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Is it... Anshik? Fuel pumps, fuel lines, hydraulics, is normal. all looking good. Life support yeah, is back I online. I told you, I take good care of her. Can it go now? Gotta check the engine. That'll take forever. You guys are just standing out in the cold. Oh, you're somebody I can speak to. Back away. Don't care if you're Charles, pal. This shuttle is none of your business. Sure thing. Sorry. All right. We'll just keep bopping from heat lamp to heat lamp. Parents doing all right? They're fine. Worried about me. When do you head back to Havara? Soon as I'm done installing the new power grid. You coming with me this time? I'm the only decent shuttle mechanic out here. They'd manage without you. We both know that's not true. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. To us. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just reading this data pad. Reply to message. Low supplies. Translated from Selesh. Solan. Yes, I am aware of the dwindling supply situation. The supplies meant for the resistance had to be diverted at the last moment, so we never received them. We will get the next drop. I'm taking care of it myself. Olusk. Sorry. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Sam, please. The whole thing's going to blow. Don't be so dramatic. I do this all the time. All right. Excuse me. Renderable plates. All right. We could just run around and take things. I think I'm up. Yeah. So we, get, we just keep going? It's not quite so cold in here, thank goodness. So we don't really need to run. Okay, so that goes up that way. Hmm. We don't need to run around from heat lamp to heat lamp. Oh, shit. There are many things in here. Uh, th thank you. Oh yeah, I would like to take all, please. I heard about the Ket ambush. Is Alda okay? She's fine. Alda's been through worse. Oh, that's right. She was at Solveth. Man, what's the Ket's deal? So there was that way back behind us, but we'll get there. We'll get to that. You're the alien Jarl brought. A possible asset, he says. We've allowed you into our base at his request. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. I have no intention of betraying you. Say what you want. It is the hands that reveal true intention. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Go now. I have other things to attend to. 
All right. We can go speak to those lookouts. It doesn't look like you're very warm, my guy. All right. Cat surveillance. Week 42. Navoa Fev. Surveillance records. At 5, a shift change. At 7, cat leader ghost console speaks with unknown. 8.20, cat patrol returns. Reports nothing unusual. 9.10, Karakin enters camp. I'm not sure what that is yet. Quickly dispatched. Almost 11. Cat comes close to bug location. 11, cat leader checks weapon. <laughs> 1549, cat leader checks weapon again. Another from 42. At Novoa Bav. Okay. Six. Group of five cat leave base to deal with roving wild wraith herd. 710. Cat leader makes daily report to unknown superior. 920. Glitch and feed. Unsure what's causing it. 1050. Cat leader checks weapon for fifth time today. 1530. Feed cuts out for two minutes. Reported. 1623. Cat leader delivers hour-long speech to underlings. 1700. Cat leave in the direction of... Oh, no. Hjar... Hjara? Reported. Possibly incoming attack. And then in Novoa Sabe. At 3, the cat leader reports in, immediately checks weapon. 641, static on feed, cuts out for 7 minutes. 839, cat leader dispatches patrol and rover, unsure of destination. 910, feed gone dark. Oh no, reported. At noon, feed is still down, possible issue with network. Mm, that's not good. All right, I'm going to... <gasps> Alisk! Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. No worries. That was the individual who wrote the note about supplies. Um, I'm going to have a look around, and then we will go off and do... Was it Anyik? Anyik's quest? They have, like, an Omnitool, but not an Omnitool. It's different. All right, come home, please. Translated from Selesh. Dear Tarva, please come back to Aya. I know you want to fight for us, but we need you here too. Your children miss you. You want to build a world where they don't have to fear the cat, but is that really better than not knowing their mother? I know you've made your decision, but I beg you to reconsider. Please, remember what it was like with your own father and how it felt. With love, your mother. Man, those calls are really difficult to make. Oh, cool. Do we have this? Oh, we didn't! Iridium. Part of the platinum group occurring in natural alloys or oxidation state compounds. Hardness and corrosion resistance make iridium useful in tooling, electronics, and as an alloying agent. Ah, fuck. Every time. Well. Yeah, no damage. Okay, this is the way we came. I haven't really scanned anything. Console. Console used to control various operations. Thank you for that. No relevant data. Do we need to be closer? It just looks like another console, but we're about to find out. Oh, it was a data pad I missed. Good thing, too. Yep, another console. Maybe be better, but keeping a good eye out. Report. Scout Destranya. Translated from Selesh. Olisk. I took a party to the supply drop point. When we got there, 
everything was gone. Our contact was missing. The snow showed signs of activity. Multiple individuals. The cat, maybe? I'll keep this quiet until you can get it sorted. Oh shit. Now we might be able to talk Looks to like the supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Mm-hmm. Bet they have an officer we can talk to. Yeah. That's why we couldn't speak to him yet. I'm really glad I decided to double back and check. All right, he's down there, so we might as well, because we're already here. You okay, Drag? Gotta get in just the right spot. <laughs> there we go. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Um... I'm tempted to go for the more empathetic approach, to just be like, look man, I'm really just here to help. Um, but I don't like the summarization of this uh, dialogue choice being, why are you lying? Let's try more practical. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... <sighs> I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. Yeah, no, I'll I'll help you look into it. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. <laughs> All right, so now we need to find the requisitions terminal. So let's peep around here a little. I can't talk to any of these people. I looked over the recruits that present us. Squadron Evaroa. I'm picking up hostiles to keep south of you. But they have spirit. Oh, it's Joel. I should be going out there with you. My presence will make other Angara less suspicious of you. Can't argue with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, he wants to be part of the party. I mean, that's fair. I'll consider my options and get back to you if I change my mind. All right, then. I'll keep my comms open so I can keep up with what you're doing. Sounds good. In the meantime, is there anything I can help with? I really love that without thinking, without really considering Jaw as part of, like, who I can pick from to form a squad. He's like, hey, it would be really smart of you to include me in this. I love that they did that. I love that so much. Tell me more about Vold. Vold is an important planet for my people. Our capital, Estria, is here. We only recently won it back from the Ket. And the city is still rebuilding. For some reason, the Ket now focus their attentions on this part of Vold. Hmm. That's why the Resistance is set up here. The Resistance seems pretty busy here. There must be lots of Ket. Yes. The Resistance has fought the Ket on Vold for a very long time. 
Our fighters are frustrated. No matter how many we kill, there always seems to be more. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything to that. I have to get going. We'll catch up later. Stay clear, Pathfinder. I wonder if there is something that lets us change our loadout oh, here. Hostile oh, you think I'll see any kit? Not likely. They don't venture this close to the camp. Normally we'd have the little like R2D2 looking guy, but not here. All right, scout reports translated from Celesh to intelligence officer Cass. We're seeing an increase in activity around Janik. The Ket have erected a barrier of some kind around the dig. Scouts have spotted abducted Angara moving around behind the shield. Looks like the Ket have them working on something. We can't tell what it is. Also, more reports of abductions. The cat appear to have stopped trying to attack the Dara. Too well defended. That's good. However, looks like they've focused their attacks on people traveling across the planet. Ambushes have increased. We should make sure the warning gets out. Fair enough. That's the planet, with everything on it. Don't win a war without good organization. Wonder what all the blinky lights are. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Davia Kars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Tetchiks, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. Oh. So all the J's pronounced as Y's. Yannick. Got it. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. All right. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Oh. It's just another console though, right? This one's a message console used to send urgent alerts to all Angara Resistance members. The latest message translated from Selesh. Rokar recon team sighted near Tekix. Fighters are advised to keep clear for the moment. Cat are our primary concern. One day, one day I'll remember that you need to tap G again and not escape. Report Aya, translated from Slash. I apologize, Olisk. My pilot says she made the supply drop at the nav point. I can't figure out why they never reached you. I'll have Onion try again with the new shipment, free of charge. The resistance won't starve over a technical issue. That's very kind of them. They all say the same thing. The resistance is missing supplies. Mm -hmm. Console. All right. Hello. Oh. An Angaring integrated tech node. The Angaran technology demonstrates many key superiorities. 
from design efficiencies to material usage. With research coordination between the initiative and the Angara, these complicated nodes represent significant value. Cool. Okay, so we need to go and find where Olisk sits and then hack into his data pad for basically what he knows. But I'm not done exploring quite yet, so I'm going to keep doing that. Oh, we need to go this way, I think. We... Yeah. Okay, perfect. Hopefully when we go to the map... Okay, good. It does show us the underground compound. I was super worried it wasn't going to. Oh, cool. Nice. We might want to switch our, our quests over. There we go. I don't know why it goes to the main menu every single time. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so this should take us back out. And these are where the lookouts are. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Hazard level two. They yeah. No, I'm not gonna eat them, right? Let's try to make a good first impression. Yep, they're staring. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. <laughs> Hold on. While well, I'm looking at the map. Okay, we're out of the tunnel stuff now. So what is... We'd have to go all the way back for the Tempest. To change our loadout, I think. A shame. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. It's okay, we're right here. Life time. support restored. And I never get care packages from Ayer, do I? You are so good at guilting me, Zeke. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. <laughs> you talk to it. Stop it, Beniska. The commander sent word. We knew they were coming. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I like how we get to make these definitive statements about our intentions, right? Who we are as the initiative. I really think that's a cool change to the Mass Effect franchise like this. I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Yeah, can you explain to me what the red lights means? Those red lights? You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. I don't like... It can't just be for slave labor. They keep talking about... How despite the fact that they confront the cat and kill them in these conflicts they just keep coming back as if their numbers are undeterred <sighs> I don't know if it's because I'm reading the Mass Effect books right now but it's got some collector vibes for me what's that alien facility on that mountain over there that's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. <laughs> Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. I don't know what that means yet. 
Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Zeke, do you ever read the dailies? <laughs> no, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating there automated forward station deployment. Handy. All right. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Thank you. All right, let's let's change our loadout and then kind of explore this a little with Jal and see if that changes anything. <laughs> I love her little like hop, skip, jump that she does. I don't want to activate the Nomad quite yet. I want to use my loadout, please. I'm sorry, Drac. I love you very much. So how do I change this? There we go. There we go. Alrighty, let's do it. No, we're good now. Confirm load up. There we go. Oh. There. Now, let's see if they react to us a little differently. I might have gone through everything already, and so... Shut out of luck, Extreme cold but... is detected, Pathfinder. We'll see. How's your sister? Environmental oh, temperatures are within acceptable Physically. limits. Nightmares still? I'm sorry. All we can do is be there when she needs us. Yes? Need more information? Oh, I was hoping there would be something. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. I probably should have taken him in initially. An approach for next time. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to oh, fall. Oh, container. A meditation crystal. Neat. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. I love the equivalent of these at like outdoor restaurants. They're so toasty. So we still need to go and find Olisk's area, his desk, whatever it is he's using as his quartermaster's hub. So let me, the requisition terminal. Okay, it is over here. We are just literally right on the opposite side of that. It's faster to go this way. You got it, Ryder. Ciao, my friend. <gasps> Welcome home, brother. I like the ambient winds. This is sweet. Mmm, here it is. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Good. I'm glad we can get that handled. All right, let's walk around with Jaw a little bit more. Do we need to update him at all? Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. No worries. Okay, so we don't need it. Oops, I don't want to be on there. We don't need anything more from him. We looked at that terminal. Do you want to talk to Jala? Need a replacement. I don't even want to know. Don't you have something to do? Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay, so we do need to go that way. And then if we go out 
should be able to start. <laughs> I wonder what poor Vetra's thinking. Heard about that doll. You think it's payback for pushing the cat out? I don't know. It sure feels like it. I don't know what the climate's like on Palavin. I don't imagine it to be like this, though. Cool. Oh. Oh, are we gonna go in a gathering quest? Well, let me have a look around first. Oh, a terminal we don't need to scan. Alrighty, concerning the new visitors. Translated from Selesh. I've heard about the new visitors to Aya. Do I have to remind you what happened the last time their kind contacted one of our worlds? Excuse me, what? That's how they know about us. That's how they know about us. It has to be one of the other arcs. Because the Nexus didn't know anything about Angara. Angarans? Aya is the planet. I mean, we knew about the planet because it happened at six, but not that there were Angarans living on it. Kadara is accessible because of them. I'm sure you and Ephra are receiving plenty of opinions from both sides. I trust you'll make the right call. Anyik. Aya and Vold can't be overrun by those things. Wow. And I don't trust that so-called Pathfinder any more than the rest of them. All right. Report. Fighter pilot Vesh Naran. Translated from Selesh. Vesh Naran reporting in. Received some surprising news this week. Apparently, the human Pathfinder activated the vault on Eos. The newcomers are now settling on the surface. I don't know how to feel about this, Commander. It troubles me. A visitor from across dark space can access technology closed to us for centuries? What does this mean? History tells us what happens when outsiders have more power than us. I apologize if I'm stepping out of line with my comments. Simply thinking out loud. I trust your judgment in all things, Commander. So that can be talking about the cat. That could be talking about the remnant. And now that we have a sort of a timeline, the remnant technology has just been hanging out for a hot fucking second. Centuries. Okay, this looks like Medbay. A priestess, hi. Welcome. You are the Pathfinder, yes? I am Roshua Lin. What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here, in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? Those who are slaves to the Ket are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, a stronger dynasty. Okay, I'm really glad that Jal's here to pitch in every so often. I'm really glad he reminded me to bring him along. You didn't hear about the human? Landed right in the middle of Aya. No. I hope they dealt with it. That human is a pathfinder fighting for us. Have some respect. Jal. And the pathfinder. <laughs> Don't worry. 
they dealt with me. <laughs> oh no! Writer, you can't just. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> okay, I'm really glad I brought y'all along. This is good. Give me a double dose of summer, quick. A double? Are you? Just do it. I'm going to be really interested to to learn more about all the different sorts of medications and plants and remedies. All right. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I'm Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative from... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you're from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we need it. The emergency caches, maybe. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to help. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Mm -hmm. Of course. Good. Get going. There we go. More ways to help. Oh. Ooh, more meditation crystals. 53. That's a lot. <laughs> oh. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Okay. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Sweet. Actually, I really love that. Do I need to scan? I do need to scan this one. Just a console. Jaw, honey, I think that's a bed for people. They don't look very comfortable. But I mean, you do what you gotta do in these kind of situations, right? All right. Logs of Ket TOC surveillance, translated from Slash. Chief Commander Dozio from Officer Kass. Transcripts as requested. Meniska. Oh, look. Those are the people who are out. Um, the scouts, the ones that we were talking to, who are leaning over, not leaning over, but are positioned on the edge to keep watch. Meniska. Tsar Seek. Look. Seek. I told you, I'm not interested in your collect. No, the cat base! Scut, that's a big ship. Are those? Looks like fighter aircraft. They're bringing in more troops, bigger guns. That's not good. I'm going to cast. Keep watching. Log everything. Dang. That's not good. Maisie? Ja, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> this is my friend, Maisie. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. Oh, man. How do you get supplies with a cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden paths all over Vault. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Wow. I mean, like, I, I, I get it, but at the same time, wow. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Noted. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. 
How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. Uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through and I need to see to them. You guys seem very understaffed. Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle Vold. Uh, I keep thinking that the heart is for like a more empathetic response, and that does not always seem to be the case. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. Oh. What do you mean, go dark? Right. I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, like, as, as humans, we need sunlight too, but I don't think to this degree that's really nifty. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. Wow. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Oops. Alrighty, for the commander. This is throwing me every time I read it because I'm like, oh, it's for me, Commander Shepard. And it's not. And every time I realize, I, uh, heart breaks a little. All right. Translated from Selesh. Commander, I'm so sorry. We managed to push the cat back from Tekix, but they knew we were coming had traps laid out before we even crested the peak. Aryan didn't make it. He went down covering our saboteur. Took out nearly a dozen cat before he fell. You'd have been so proud of him. I wanted to let you know before word got back in a less delicate way. I'll tell Askel to hold off sending the notice. You should be able to break the news to your parents yourself. Commander, I truly am sorry. I know this must be difficult to read, but know that Aryan Dozio was a hero today. Ugh. Unsent draft. I'm sorry. Pavoa, mother. I hope you and Lavala are well. Little Fallette must be a handful by now. Oh no. Mother, something happened. I sent Aryan on a mission and he didn't come back. He's not coming back. His officer tells me he fell protecting his squad. This is my fault. He should have had more training. I'm so... Oh, God, that's so hard. Urgent. Need recruits ASAP. Commander Dozio. We need more recruits for Havarl. The cat haven't reached the ruins, but their attempts on the capital have been bolder. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. I know you're stretched thin right now, and I heard about Arjian, so I'm sure this is a difficult time for you. I wouldn't contact you if it wasn't urgent. I'll be in the field. Reach me by calm at your earliest convenience. Captain Rowe. Ugh, that's so rough. Can you imagine 
There's one thing for the guilt associated with sending people that you have trained with, that you care about, into armed conflict and they don't make it. But when it's your own family member... That's so difficult. Did we read this data pad? I'm not sure, so I'm gonna read it. Olisk, we sent a shuttle with enough medical supplies to last you through the cycle. Did you ever receive them? Our trekking signal went dark after we left the supplies at the drop point. Please respond and let us know they got to you safely. Man, they're really having a hard time with supplies. I'm glad that I'm turning around and going back the way that, uh, the opposite of the way that I came, because it's helping me spot a few things I didn't catch the first time. Particularly those pesky little data pads. Did we look at this? Yes. And that's where we came in. So let me have a look before we go. Okay. Okay, it's just the console. Oh, okay, y'all. That's uh, good. But they say y'all, right? It's not y'all. I'll need to listen better and see. Wow, how cool to go dark. Not that going dark is cool, but the concept, the different physiology for, for this race. All right. So anything else I need in here? Viability is at 2% now instead of zero. We like that. Okay. I want to pick out the quest that I'm doing. So what are our priorities right now on the front lines? Oh, okay. So that's the big one. I keep trying to double click and it does not want that to be how I do this. What about Helios assignments? I, uh, okay. Okay, the missing supplier. I do want to do that first. They're having a really fucking hard time. But do we have ones? We do have some for Vold too. So, oh shit, reach the drop point. And the medical caches. Okay, so drop point, medical caches... Okay, it was Helios, but Aya. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we should do the ones on Vold first. Because this is on Aya? No, it's on Vold. So maybe we should do that first and then we can switch to the Vold ones. Well, let's see what it looks like on our map first. That's gonna kind of determine where we can go. I remember, do we need to go out this direction? No, opposite of that. So we're gonna head back out. This morning. He asked when I'm coming home. He's young, he doesn't understand yet. I don't know how to respond. How do you tell a child he might not come back? Leave it to Mass Effect, to Bioware, really, to give you heavy things to think about. Double security and send nightly patrols. We'll have to. Tetchix is counting on us for protection. Tetchix. Good. You're in the clear. Proceed to objective. I do really like the ambient dialogue. I wish it didn't double up so much with Sam. I know Sam's just doing his best, right? But I don't need alerts every time my armor is anything, honestly. Other than maybe when I'm dying. I would like to know when I'm dying so I can do something about that. <laughs> All right, shall we check our map? Okay, so what's around here? Wow, that's really close. Sweet so scan minerals. 
That's the drop point. So the one we have selected, oh god, that's way over there. But another forward station drop. So what's closest? I think this is the one that we head to for now. So we can manage to get in a little bit before I have to go. All right, let's call the nomad. <laughs> I hope it's going to be okay to ride around. The pathways seem a little small. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. Mm -hmm. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. Oh. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. Okay. You could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. Ooh. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. Ooh! <gasps> yes! Right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Let's do it. All right. Yes. I hope his pain job is right. I can't really tell, but I hope it is. I think so. It's dusted with snow. There we go. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder. I Trust me. Can you even see through this snow? Kind of. I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. I love her. Uh... <laughs> Did your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. Are we... is it time to eat? A little, yeah. Okay. Tight turn. It's all right. Man, the nomad takes a beating. We're out of the worst of it. Temperature <gasps> should be manageable now. Okay, they're clearly nice people. They don't register as red. Yeah, coming this way! Oh! Quickly! Before they find the resistance! <gasps> oh god, hey, hold on. We're gonna run these guys Come over. Through. Let's get out and help. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's what a wraith is. Nice job. Thank you. Bye. Oh, okay, there's that's it. Good work. Awesome, <gasps> I didn't see them registering as red. Hello? Grenade! Careful, careful. Um, lady, you might want to get out. Dude, you're walking into the line of fire. Where is this man? This way. Oh, I leveled. Are y'all all right? Oh, okay. That's more fucking cat. You want me to scan the nomad? Okay. Indie one nomad. An exploration vehicle designed for field adaptation, specifications, and capability. Forwarded to technician Gil Brody for further modification. Thanks, Gil. 
Okay, there was a weird dude back there. We'll go see him in a second. Renderable plates. All right. Okay, I had a peek at my uh, life support. Now, where was this dude? He's different. I get destined. Field commander deploys a smoke stream to hinder enemies and provide cover. Yeah, I did notice that. All right, let's go and get the nomad. Okay, it does look like the red took. Perfect, we love that. We really, really, really like to not run over our new friends. Don't do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract okay, minerals so via your mining interface. Here. Oh, we're getting a lot of BE. Oh, Ezo! We got one Ezo. Ooh, does that mean that they could be biotic? Okay, we, we gotta keep going down this way. Oh, we, ooh, I saw that. I saw it. Oh, I can't stop. Let's probe out. I was literally trying to reverse and it just kept sliding forward, but I guess that's snow for you. Really don't want to slide down there. Actually, maybe I do, but let's go around. Wow, this place is so pretty. I'm not driving. This is just drifting. <laughs> okay, we're out of zone. That ravine to not be a huge issue. There we go. Wow. It's so pretty. I know it's mostly snow, but still. Alright, so. Let me make sure that I'm going where I want to be going. Oh, did they change our thing? Jar of, what was this? Scan minerals, and this was. Reach a drop point. That's what I wanted. Because it was close. And so we could <laughs> do that today. There we go. Well, um... Let's turn the car around. And hopefully we can at least reach there. What is my boost like here? It's not bad. Ooh, okay. Right, I don't want to fall into that pit. Oof. Oh, look! Here we go, right? Oh. Oh. Wait. Are you mean people? Um, clearly. Alright, I know that I didn't provide us any cover, so my bad. Raider? Hey, can you not do that? Who are you? Hello? Please tell me you're not Angara. Why were Angara attacking no. us? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. Urgent message translated from Shalesh. I've provided the location for the new drop point. Supply drop is scheduled for later today, so get there quickly. If the stars are with us, the drop will contain shield tech. I must remind you again about discretion. If you are not, you are not to reveal your mission to anyone. If Ephra hears we're building a stockpile, he'll take action. No, we must keep this up for as long as possible. Skies guide you, Axul. No, but you're taking it from other people. Axul, should I know about him? That's a conversation for another time. Pathfinder, I have informed Onus. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. Oh, how sad. I think, yeah. Oh. Thought it triggered on him for a second. Angaran Raider. A basic assailant outfitted with mid to long range weaponry. 
unfortunate. We hate to see it. All right, well. Let's get back in the car, because it's very cold. I do it every time. There we go. So... it shifted us now so we've got I don't care about that one I do care about the Shara Shara let's head that way again don't want to fall into that ravine can I That was good shit. S did not slow the nomad very well for me, but thank you, tutorial. Mm. Can I go over this ice? If you're in an ice age, it should be okay. What is all this, though? What is it? Should probably reach where I'm intending to reach, though. Get and shit. Okay. I really want to go though. Fuck, we're gonna go there. Oh my god. I'm losing so much traction. Woo! Pathfinder, I detect a cat camp ahead. Let's do it. You're being absolute dicks. Safe is a is back stretch. Online. Oh wait, so oh, it's near their heat lamps. Nice. All right, we good. I like the Angara heat lamps much better. All right, let's loot this place. Angara. Oops, sorry. The technology is present in this camp. Oh. Scanning will provide more information. This bug should be feeding cat information to the resistance, but the connection was dropped. Okay. Why? A technical issue? Unknown. If you scan additional bugs, I can locate the broken link. Good to know. I will keep an eye out for that. Um, a discharger supercapacitor. All right, I don't know what that means. It does look cold. Wait, that's smoking. The other ones aren't smoking. This one is smoking. So what is this? Is it just an oven of some variety? That seems a little silly, but why is it smoking? Maybe there's shit going on underneath the surface? Okay, let's look for more bugs. Maybe not necessarily bugs in this camp. Because it. No, it, it might make sense to have more than one in the camp. It's their portable heating element. It's a portable heating device capable of long-term thermal regulation. Modular thermal coordination. No safety limiters present. Just gonna burn yourself up on that. Okay, was this the first bug that I found? I think so. Yeah, because I can't scan it. Sorry, I'm getting a little turned around. Hold on. For the bug quest. Is there more stuff where I am? No. 
So I'm going to assume that we need to move on. Viability is at 4% though. <gasps> what is that? It's like a snow raptor. <gasps> I might have spoken a little too soon. Well, I'm not going to bother you, buddy. I don't quite uh, know who you are or what you're doing. Do I need to keep scanning these? Hold on, what does it say? Element zero stasis. This one's explosive materials. Oh, these are different. Charge element zero stasis. And then uh, explosive materials. Interesting. Okay, well let's grab some ammo and get out. Did we get this? We did. We can always come back if we need to. Every time. All right. Um, are we going to cross paths with uh, our winter raptor? I can't steal shit on this side. Oh my god. Hello! You're a mean boy, but I want to get a look at you. Oh, don't spit though, please. Look at you! As I've been reading Milky Way history, I'm coming to think it would be difficult to trust Zedarians. Why? They're the same as the rest of us. Gotta take the good with the bad. What specifically made him think that? Hello? Heads up. There might be remnant in that site. Do we need to go deal with that cat? No, those are good. That's blue. But... Ew. That did not look like it. Looks like the cat got here before us. Yeah, let's... Shit, shit, shit. Everybody out. Deal with it. I, I did just a whole ass out there. Oh, hey! No, that's not acceptable, sir. That's a stinky boy. Thank you! I'd like to think I got better after three mass effects. Where is this fucker? Come here. Fuck you, in particular. Are we good? Ooh, Vetra. I like your tech armor. Okay, let's get this cleaned up nice and quick. Alright. Um, what is this? Active scan, diffusion, and damage are obscuring Kivilizic. It's a small vessel flight surface. Crash vector suggests operational failure due to environmental effects prior to impact. Okay, so the snow got it, TLDR. Um, same thing, TLDR. All right. Chosen. Oh, did that man? All right, that's fine. Okay. I think we're good. So I'm going to turn us around. We don't need to go do that yet. We need to get us somewhere safe for life support. Actually, it looks pretty okay. So, red flashing lights. That's where we were supposed to be. So, Hyara? Hyara? I'm not quite sure what the name's supposed to be. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or cosplay on Instagram or my OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.
Hey guys, don't forget, if you enjoy this video, consider letting me know. Leave a like, subscribe, or even become a Patreon. Okay, thanks, bye.